To reassemble a Glock, all you're going to need is a soft surface. I'm going to be using these pliers. Soft edge of these pliers simply to push pins in. I'm going to start with the frame. We'll take the, the rear parts which fits in here. And we'll replace the trigger disconnect which just got polished. Now as a, refer as a reference, this trigger fits together like so. But this spring needs to go back in exactly the way it was before. So to do this, you simply rotate this part 180 degrees. And it will show you exactly where it's supposed to fit together. Yard. Okay, rotate 180 degrees. Once that's hooked together, you're going to need to do this at an angle. So fits together like so. And that's it. Now that this part is reassembled, you slip it back into the frame. It fits like so. And replace this rear pin, which is this plastic one here. Next part comes the slide release. Like so, and finally the anvil. You're now ready to insert the pin. Insert the smaller pin right to left. There should be no resistance to this pin. Now we insert the bigger pin right to left. You may need to wiggle the slide release a little bit. Yes, it's stuck. So I'll just up that a little bit. And there we go. The lower is now assembled. The first part of the slide to go in is the extractor. So, reassemble the firing pin block. Like so, and push that in. And this rounded part of the extractor goes to the rear, like so. It fits like this. And while pushing in the block, you can now release everything and it won't fall out. Reassemble the piston, like so. And this goes, if you get this the wrong way around, the gun will fail to eject the cartridges. It's happened to quite a few people before. So make sure the metal part with the most wear on it, mind the plating is coming off. There we go. That goes towards the pin, like so. Reassemble the firing pin, plastic first. Then the spring, any way around, it's all good. Ooh. And finally, you're going to need to use a bit of brute force to do this. Finally, these cups. 
These are standard cups, not the maritime cups. I do intend to upgrade these at a later point. Like so. That is one assembled firing pin. Which goes in like so. Now the back plate can go on. And to install the back plate, I just use my punch, push down on the firing pin, this plastic of the firing pin. Oops, do the other way around. And the slide is assembled. And I totally just failed.